Right, so to change the oil filter on a Mocha 1.6, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's the oil filter housing there. <clears throat> it's 24mm socket. And there's plenty of space to get in with just the, the socket and the ratchet. And just slacken it off. Take it out. I like to pull out the dipstick. And open up the oil filler cap, slacking this off, and then I'll go underneath and pull some plug out and let it drain. Uh, and then when it comes to the comes to nearing the end of draining the oil, I'll pull the filter out, <coughs> which helps a little bit more oil push through. Uh, and then we'll move on to changing the uh, swapping the filter elements out. So underneath it's a cork, it's T45. And uh, when you tighten up, it's written there, 14 newton meters, so it's not very tight. And um, we'll change the o-ring on the sump plug. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that. Right, so we want to change this o-ring or you can get a new sump plug it, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't cost much for a sump plug um, but I just change o-rings Stop some plug leaking. So once you're happy, you've drained most of the oil. Fire the sump plug back in. And then, if you don't do this regularly, regularly, yeah, the mechanical stuff, then uh, you're probably better using the torque wrench. But you can just nip it up a little bit. For this video, I'll use a torque wrench to 40 newton meters. That's it, I mean, it's not tight at all. Uh, so I only use say I only say use a torque wrench because um, as a as a mechanic or if you do mechanical stuff quite regularly, uh, over time you develop uh, the feel. So you can you can just you just know with years of experience. But uh, if it's your first time or you're just doing it on your driveway, just get a, a torque wrench or uh, they're not expensive, so you know you've done it right. Or just nip it up as soon as you feel resistance, just the tiniest of uh, turns after that, and that's enough. It's, honestly, this is not tight at all. The uh, the rubber seal, as long as you change that rubber seal. It does all the work for you, it stops the leaking, so. All right, so just a note, there's two types of oil filter. Uh, this is a new style one with a spring on it. And this is the old style one. Uh, the massive difference is uh, about 15 quid of difference between the two filters. So we want this one. 
Hoe zal het look? Yeah, happy days. So we've got the cheap one, the cheaper filter, which is brilliant. Now, so there'll be probably a bit of oil in here to empty out, and then the soaring to change. Just going to empty this oil out. Now, I'll just change the soaring. Give that a light coat on a new oil. Just helps you go into the hole easier. And that's ready to put back in. Oh, I'm just going to get this back in here. Simple enough. Again, if you've got a torque wrench, this is only 25 Newton meters. But you, you actually can't really tighten it any more than it will go. Just remember that it's plastic, so don't be too rough with it. know if it doesn't seal because when you put oil in and fire up the engine uh, it'll leak very quickly. And that's it. So we just got to fill the oil up with the fresh stuff. And it's, uh, it's a 1.6 engine so it takes four and a half litres. 5.30. Just bang on the full mark, but because the filter, we've changed the filter, the filter housing will be empty, so when you start the car up, the oil circulates, that'll drop a bit, uh, so you'll have to check it again once it cools down, and then just top up your oil level, and the uh, job's are good.